Hello friends, welcome to AutoCAD video tutorials. I am Prabhu and you are watching this video from cybercadsolutions.com. In this session, I am going to explain how to draw polyline and how to edit polyline. Shortcut command to draw a polyline is PL or if you want to go with the tool button, here it is in the draw group. You can click this button or type PL at the command prompt and press enter so that the command prompt will ask to specify the start point. I am clicking over here like this. First point, second point, third point, fifth point. Like this you can click any number of points and once you are done just press enter to finish. So what is this polyline? What is the difference between line and polyline? Let us take line command. I am typing L at the command prompt and press enter and pick points as you pick for polyline like this so now if you select the lines lines drawn just before they are all being selected individually one by one but if you select a polyline if you select one segment all the segments will be selected at a time which means polyline is a complex entity which is a collection of individual lines but in the individual lines you have to select every line to select a connected string of lines okay what else is there in polyline let us see i'm erasing these things again type pl at the command prompt and press enter now it is asking start point let us pick a point i'm picking here then if you observe at the command prompt there are different options are coming up like arc half width length undo width let us take arc option to activate this option you can click on arc or you can type a at the command prompt and press enter now a arc is being extended and again if you observe at the command prompt again options related to the arc command are shown up okay let us take second point option and you can click a second point it is asking to specify the second point as we have activated a second point option so i am clicking over here for second point again pick the third point that is end point like this again take second point pick here and click over here the end point now if you want to continue with the line command i mean line segments in the polyline again you can take line option here it is you can click on this line option click this and just keep on picking points like this so this is how we can use arc option in the polyline okay and just um, press enter Now let us look at the second option. I am erasing this one and type PL at, at command prompt again and click start point. Now it is showing half width and width. There are two options which means you can give half width or width which means width of the polyline at starting and ending of each segment. So let us go with the width option not half width. So I am clicking width and it is asking to specify starting width i am just entering one unit and press enter again it is asking to specify ending width let's make it one you can give different width also i am giving end one only so you can observe the line is being drawn with a width of one unit you can click points like this okay and the second option close you can observe so if you take this close option similarly as we have done in the line command this close option will connect the next point to the start point of the polyline and it will end the command i am just taking close option click on the close option you can observe a polyline drawn with a given starting width and ending width this is width option again similarly as we have done in the line command i am again restarting polyline command type pl at the command prompt and press enter Pick start point and if you want to remove the width that is you want to change the width back to the default value 0 take width option click width and enter 0 press enter again 0 for the ending width and press enter now you can click as many points as you wish and unfortunately if a point is uh, given wrongly you can remove it by taking undo option click on undo and again you can pick any number of points and take close option by typing c 
at the command prompt and press enter. So this is how we draw polyline. Okay, we have drawn a polyline and we would like to convert this polyline into individual line segments. How? There is a command called explode in AutoCAD. So what is the shortcut for explode command? X is the explode for uh, X, X is the shortcut for explode command. Type X at command prompt and press enter. And as it is already selected previously, it is exploded into individual line segments. Okay. Okay then. So to convert a polyline means a complex entity into individual entities, we have to use explode command. Then how to convert individual lines into a polyline means I would like to join all these lines into a single entity. So how to do that? Again, there is a command called join command in AutoCAD. Join. J is shortcut for join command. Just type J at the command prompt and press enter. Now it is asking to select multiple objects to join. If you select all these lines and just press enter, you can observe all these lines are joined as a single polyline entity. So to convert a polyline into individual lines, we will use explode command X and press enter. Select the polyline and press enter. It will be converted into individual lines. Again, to make it a polyline, use join command J and select all these, all these entities and press enter. All these will become a single polyline. Okay, then. Now, I would like to add a new vertex in this polyline over here. So, how to do that? Actually, we have a command called P edit. P edit and select this polyline. But it is a tedious process. Let me explain once and then I will explain the shortcut also. So here edit vertex one option is available here. So you can take that one. So take edit vertex. Okay. And uh, wherever you want to add the vertex up to there your cursor mark has to go over there. For that you have to take next option. Next. Next. And now you have to take insert option. Again at the command prompt you can observe insert option is coming up. Click this one and pick a point which is a new point to be added and you can observe a new point has been added. Similarly, remo removing also, removing a vertex is also a big process. Uh, let's go to the easiest way. Exit this command. I am clicking. I am taking exit option which is on the command prompt. Click this one and press enter to finish the command. Okay then, how to remove this vertex or how to add a vertex? So if you want to add a vertex, first select the polyline and if you go on to the middle point which is being shown on the polyline, you can observe a small pop-up box is coming up in that, don't click on that, just hover, the, hover your cursor on that point and you will get this shortcut menu. From there you can take add vertex option and you can add a new point like this. Okay, what is it? Let me explain one more time. Just hover your cursor on the mid points shown on the polyline like this don't click and a pop-up menu will come up like this and take add vertex option and you can click like this okay and if you want to remove a vertex similarly again you have to select the polyline let it get highlighted then go on to the vertex which is to be removed place your cursor over the vertex again you will get a short shortcut or a pop-up menu and from there take remove vertex option this is the simplest way of inserting vertexes and removing vertexes similarly i would like to remove another vertex this one place your cursor over there don't click a pop-up will come up here and take remove vertex option like this similarly we can also convert uh, a segment into arc also okay so if you want to convert this segment into an arc place your cursor over there and here you will get convert to arc option in the pop-up click that one and the segment will become like an arc and you can place it wherever you want like this so this is the easiest way of uh, converting segments to the arcs and inserting new vertices and removing vertices so what else is there in the pedit command so to activate p uh, pedit command we have a shortcut called pe 
or you, if you double click on a polyline then also if you double click on a polyline then also pedit command will activate okay i am double double clicking here and i have got these many options let us see what are all those options okay so here the first option is open okay let me draw another polyline for this example to explain it in a better way just type pl at the command prompt and press enter click as many vertices you wish close okay then take p edit command p e at the command prompt and press enter select the polyline it is asking i am selecting this one now there is the first option is open let us activate open option i am clicking open you can observe the last segment which is connecting the end point and start point is being removed and similarly the prompt has been changed to close option the open option has been converted to close again you can close it using this option like this you can open it and you can close it whichever you can do similarly join command we have join command a separate command is there to join the individual line segments and width option you can give width at the time of drawing a polyline or after drawing also you can change the width let us take width option i am clicking this and it is asking to specify new width for all the segments i am typing one and press enter you can observe the polyline width has been changed to one unit similarly if you want to make it zero again take the width option and to zero and press enter it will get back to the default value now edit vertex we have seen some shortcuts to edit vertices so don't go with this option it's a bit a tedious process to do all this and next there is an option fit what is this what is this fit fit will fit a smooth arc at every sharp corner okay so let's take this and you will understand what it does so click on fit and you you can observe a small fillet has been made at every vertex isn't it similarly if you want to make this polyline highly smooth because which means smooth polyline you can take smooth polyline option click on this you can observe it has become highly smooth polyline now if you want to get back to the original position that is which we have drawn in the beginning so take d curve option this will remove all the arcs and make the polyline to the original shape you can observe this one so this fit will fillet each vertex smooth polyline will make it more smoother and if you want to get it back to the original just click on d curve okay then line type gen reverse options are there uh, line type gen i will explain like this i am exiting this command let us say our line has a dashed line type so how to change our polyline line type to dash we have a command called modify m o and press enter you will get a palette like this select this polyline go to the line type option and open this box there is no line type available so we have to load the line type i would like to load dash line type so a command called line type is there in autocad the shortcut for line type command is lt type lt and press enter you will get a dialog box like this we will come to the this command later how to load line types we have a session on this as of now just observe take load button and in this i want to go to dashed so click on dashed save okay now it has been loaded click okay button now select this polyline and go to line type and if you open this the dash is available here because it has been loaded into the autocad session if you click this automatically the line type has been has been changed to dashed now close this palette and if you observe these segments are uh, sometimes they are more lengthy segments are there some are short and they are a bit uneven isn't it so to make them all uniform we have to switch on line type gen so to switch on line type gen take p edit command p e at the type p at the command prompt and press enter click this polyline go to line type gen option and say on now if you observe all the segments are equally uh, having equal length throughout the polyline you can observe that one that is the option um, 
line type gen then reverse reverse means uh, let me explain what is forward then we will come to the reverse we, uh, while we draw the polyline we have come this order like this in the uh, clockwise direction how to check that one take edit option and go to next 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 you can observe the cursor moving direction now say exit if you reverse this draw order means i am taking this option just simply click nothing will happen but the um, draw order of vertices which we have taken while uh, uh, drawing this polyline will be reversed how to check that one again go to edit vertex and say next now this time uh, it will go in the reverse direction you can observe this one so if you want to change the draw order or the direction of flow of the polyline then you can take that uh, reverse option undo is nothing like if you want to undo the changes just before done you can take this undo option so that is all about the polyline command hope you guys understood and uh, if you like this video i request you to to share cybercadsolutions.com to your friends and thanks for watching welcome to the next session